So for nearly two decades, I've helped people that have had TMJ problems uh, with different therapies. But what I'm really excited about is CBCT x-rays. And it's basically a 3D x-ray that allows us to read the joints and get a better diagnosis. There are uh, oral maxillofacial radiologists, dental radiologists that we could send these x-rays to and they give us a report that we are able to share with the patient. And it gives us some indication on how to better treat these joints. You know, when I first started, we would use Doppler or joint vibration analysis, all this crazy technology to try to hear and guess what's going on. And now we have a much better idea. And, you know, joint issues can come from a variety of different underlying factors. Some people have a bad bite, what we call a malocclusion that strains and puts a lot of pressure on the joints. Some people have some health issues or histories of trauma that can cause these problems. Things like sleep apnea cause people to kind of strain their jaw sometimes to create an airway, which can lead to joint issues. So we really take a holistic approach and then also try to figure out if this is a muscle issue or if there's actually breakdown in the joint or if the muscle and the joint are breakdown are kind of tied together. And then the therapies can be, you know, appliance therapies. We don't like to have people in appliances forever. We like to get a definitive fix, but sometimes we need to let the joints heal, so we'll do that. Um, but there's also things we can do to correct bites and, and fix the underlying health issues. So, you know, being somebody that treats TMJ nowadays with all the different diagnostic tools and the, our internal lab that's able to print better appliances with 3D printing and, and things like this have really made something that I think a lot of dentists didn't want to deal with a lot of fun to treat.